What's up, Mortgage Coach community? I am super pumped to interview two amazing uh, friends and leaders in the industry. We've got author, peak performance coach, Jonathan Roach, uh, my performance coach. What's up, Jonathan? Dave, awesome to be on. Yeah, good to have you. And, and then we have a, a mutual client, uses mortgage coach, uh, leader in the industry. Uh, what's up, Shantry? It's good to have you here, buddy. Thanks for having me. Honored to be on with you too. It's an honor to have you, brother. So for anyone who hasn't listened to my interviews with Shantry in the past, he's he's a $100 million a year producer. Uh, he has had two years. What, what did you say the number was last year? <laughs> they were 99.9, two years in a row, basically. That's crazy. Like two years in a row, just right there. Yeah. Uh, so he, he's there, $100 million producer. Uh, and what did you say you're going to try to pull off this year? A little bit of a pivot year? Yeah, our goal is 80, 80. for my myself. Mm -hmm. And then I have the responsibilities of the branch that I've recently taken more of an active role into. So that's really been a lot of my commitment is to, and and really where it's been really fun is is growing the team and, and helping all the other loan officers. So. Well, I, I, I love what a great leader you are. Uh, last interview I did with you in the channel was just talking about how you're um, doing sales meetings. Uh, highly recommend you guys listen to this call. Uh, this is this is how a top producing branch manager should be developing talent in today's market. Uh, are you still doing the kinds of sales meeting we talked about last time? Yeah, absolutely. We were blessed enough to have Jonathan coach the team last week and they were blown away by it though too. So we've been mixing that in and, and plan on continuing to do so. But yeah, every week uh, sales team gets together from 8 a.m. To, to 9 a.m. on Wednesday morning. And it's just sales training tactics, that kind of thing. A lot of it, we involve mortgage coach uh, videos. We'll watch a snippet of it and talk through it and whatnot. Well, it's exactly what what people in the industry need to be doing is we got to upgrade our sales skills, our sales talent. And that gets to the topic at hand today, guys. It's, it's all about outvaluing your competition. Uh, this may not be the year where you're going to close more loans than you did last year. Although there are people that are, but that's, that's not the story. The story is how do we get market share? How do we get better so that we one thrive in this market? And two, as we come out of this, market into a, an easier market. We just, we kill it. So what does outvaluing your competition mean to you, Shandri? Well, I think that, that I'm going to call him coach, Jonathan, he's coach to me. Um, what he's taught me though, is to, to have such a high level of give, serve, give, serve that they can't help, but spend time with you. They're almost just attracted to hang out with you. And he always uses the terminology of things like they're at home telling their wife how much you're pouring into them, even though you're, they're not even your client yet. And so if we can all think, and that's the message we're trying to give to our team, that you're just giving, serving, giving, serving in such a way that it just doesn't even matter what the competition's doing. Jonathan, would you answer that question? So I, I would just throw in that we all have a choice each day. Both of you have heard this because I'm blessed to coach both of you. But at the core, I think for all mortgage professionals right now is their voice choice each morning, choosing their positive voice over their negative voice. We all have both. If you don't actively choose your positive voice, then you by default choose your negative voice. Now, our negative voice is our biggest critic. It loves to focus on what's wrong. And our positive voice is our biggest fan and likes to focus on what's right. The reason I brought that up in relation to what Chantry just shared is our negative voice has a scarcity mindset and our positive voice has an abundance mindset. And the abundance mindset is serve, give, serve, give. And the negative voice is going, well, when are we going to get rewarded? World-class A players are so prepared, so energized, positive, on fire, and excited to serve and share. They don't worry about that because that always takes care of itself. So, so, and Shantri, what are you, what are you saying and how are you leading this with the other loan offices that you serve? And then also, what are you doing with your realtors and the people that, you know, our clients? Yeah, just in our coaching call today with Jonathan, we were talking about, um, we're going back to the basics a little bit with our customers. So the last few years, because of the, the, the way the world was, 
Uh, everybody was going to Zoom. We as loan officers were just trying to make it through the day. We were trying to see how little of time we could spend on a file so that we could move on to the next because there was just this surplus of business. And it allowed us to get out of the habits that we needed to have to actively serve and educate um, our families and our real estate partners. And so like for us, we are trying as a team to go back and we want to see who can have the most uh, mortgage in office consultations with potential refis or buyers or whatever it may be, even if they're not ready to qualify today. It's like, just get them in, educate them on what's going on, spend time with these people because we are so lucky that we have the time to spend with these people right now, instead of just looking for what's the low hanging fruit right now. Who is it that's probably gonna buy in a year to two that we can, we can educate? And so just going back to the, I, we call it blocking and tackling, just simple basics that we all used to do, but I think the last couple of years have, have caused not just the mortgage industry, but all of our society, just get away from that. Just get to technology and technology matters, but you gotta get face-to-face, -face, belly to belly. So you're so having more conversations, uh, whether or not it makes sense to do a transaction right now, and, and connect, understanding some people's real estate goals and and what their plans are, not just looking for the transaction, but looking how to serve in a more long-term way. Is that fair to say? Yeah, taking a long-term thought process to it, I think is the number one thing. We can't, we can't uh, it's, it, you probably aren't gonna feel very excited about keeping score about how many leads and transactions you're doing right now. Like you said, you could have your best year ever, but for the most part, that's not going to be the theme this year, but you can control your activities. And so are you keeping score based on your activities or based on your number of closings? Good, good leadership. Anything specific you're doing with real estate agents, anything specific conversations you have programs you have that you're doing to invest in agents. If we want to talk programs, but the first thing to do is, is I didn't mean loan programs, by the way, I was like, talking, I, you know, I know I have a couple a campaign the, or a strategy. Yeah. The, the biggest thing is, is we're, we're in fact, our last sales meeting, the conversation was what are some powerful questions that we can ask our real estate partners right now that can help us dig deeper into their business? Because all of us have gotten into the habit or it's easy to get in the habit of like, Hey buddy, how's business? It's like, oh, it's good. It's a little down, but it's good. And then we kind of just move on. Instead, if we can get into how are you navigating this market? Where are you having your wins? Where are you having your biggest struggles? What would you like to implement in your business that you're not implementing now? What would you like to remove from your business that's wasting all your time? Then we can actually serve and, and, and improve their business right now. And if we can take a stance that our real estate partners' is business is down too. And I don't want my real estate agents to be out of the business or their, their business is down. Then I have to go get more new relationships. So I want to do everything I can for my group of real estate partners to be the most successful ones in our industry. I like that. What are you, what are you doing to invest in those agents? You know, what are some tactics, strategies, anything you're doing to upgrade your agents? Yeah, we're talking about right now getting an offer accepted and educating your clients on the history of rates and how rates could go up and down and the history of the market and why we believe the market may not crash or even why, if you believe it is, just, just an overall process of what are you taking to educate your consumer, whether that's the seller or the buyer. You know, one of the things I guess we're doing quite a bit of right now is we're talking to, to folks about a three, two, one buy down. I know that we, you've done a few calls lately, which we got some great stuff from on the permanent buy down. We're, we're talking a lot about the three, two, one buy down and having a lot of success there too. Jonathan, any, any questions for Shantry or anything you know Shantry's doing that you think the community should know about and other loan officers should know about? I'll just point out, maybe you picked up on this, Dave, but he's used the word educate probably 10 times because that's what he does. He educates, he educates, he empowers, he serves. And it, it's such a differentiator in a marketplace where people have that scarcity mindset because it's an evolving market. So you can imagine the energy he gives off compared to his competitors to potential real estate uh, 
partners and potentially, you know, in existing real estate professional partners. And it's really, again, about, he didn't use the word, but really, if you're going to summarize what he talked about with his relationship with his real estate professional partners, he wants to be the hero. He doesn't want them just to survive. He wants them to thrive. And then how does he equip them with the tools and strategies in such a simple manner that they can't help but want to have, you know, Chantry and his team be there, not only one of their preferred mortgage professionals, but their only mortgage professional. And that's earned, that's not given out. And what I, you know, coach both of you on and anyone in general is this idea, we can't give away what we don't have. So if you don't have excess energy and positivity and vibe, you're not taking the time to send over that overview of the three, two, one strategy, or here's five tips for avoiding buyer fatigue or sending off a book and a book summary. You're just not doing it because you're just trying to get through the day. And then I just need to recharge tonight. Maybe have a couple beers or wine or whatever people do. The eight players right now, I will say in an evolving market, they're licking their chops. And the reason they're licking their chops is because they're competitors and competitors love when things don't go as expected. Uh, I think I've shared with both of you, I had one of my pro golfing clients just a couple of weeks ago say, yeah, it was really, it was fantastic because they were projecting crazy wind and rain. And the second I saw that, I knew 50% of my competitors were out. And he's not an arrogant guy. He just was speaking so factually about it. That's what's happening in the mortgage industry right now. Over 50% of your competitors are already gone because of what's going on in their head and who's at the podium of their mind. Yeah, you know, I, uh, I got to share a virtual stage with Jocko Willink last week and I got to hear his, op you know, what he said and he, he called it operator weather. And, and, he, and he, he said, hey, you know, like in the teams, the, you know, the more miserable the weather, you know, the more difficult the situation, like that's operator weather. Like that's, yeah. that's what we want. And it was kind of the same thing. This is in the mortgage space. This is, this is operator weather. Yeah. So, so Shantri, what are you, what are you reading right now? You know, is there anything that you're advocating to your real estate agents, you know, in terms of just content that you're, you're bringing their way? Well, the, the number one thing right now is where I think we're going to segue into this a little bit is, is Jonathan's book, 12 Key Habits to Thrive. I don't think he meant to do this. Maybe he did, but it could not have hit at a better time in our industry for us, for us industry professionals to, because I'm, I'm just looking at his, his, his notes here. You know, we had read the book, I'd read, read his initial launch and um, I've shared a copy with my team. In fact, I've shared two copies uh, with my team. Every person has their own copy to read. And then I'm challenging them to provide an additional copy uh, with, with coaches' uh, personal uh, notes as well to somebody that they think it would impact. And, I, and, I, and the, really, the, Jonathan's mentioned it, but just in this market right now, just controlling your attitude and your voice choice is, is everything. And so it's just been incredibly timely. Yeah, no, I can't agree more. Um, key habit number one in the 12 habits to thrive is nail your voice choice. And I'm not going to try to teach that lesson because I've interviewed Jonathan so many times on it. But at the end of the day, it's we've all got a positive voice and we all have a negative voice. And for most folks in today's market, the, the negative choice or the negative voice is, is the one that's at the podium, as Jonathan would say. Jonathan, any, anything you want to share with the community as it pertains to that? Because I'm, you know, it's a, it's a book that's important to me. You know, you've been a great coach. And that was one of the most important things in engagement was just elevate the energy that I was showing up at. Uh, I mean, I've always considered my energy as being one of my competitive differentiators uh, for my entire career. But as I've gotten older, it just turned, yeah, 58, uh, 58 and, and, I can't take that shit for granted anymore. Like it, it takes more intention to have that level five energy. Uh, any advice you have for loan officers listening in on this that want to outvalue their competition with education, with your 12, um, you know, key habits, any, any advice you have? Yeah. If you don't mind, I'm going to somewhat deflect that question, Dave, to stay in the pocket 
of what Chantry was outlining as far as outvaluing your competitors and then serving and educating. And then we can kind of segue back to the book. I, I want to do that because Chantry is explaining how they're sending out to their real estate professional partners and potential real estate professional partners a copy of my book, including my two page book summary, and then a note that said something along the lines of, I'm um, including the uh, this, this powerful book, 12 Key Habits to Thrive. For him, he's saying, this is my own peak performance coach. Now he'll be able to say, he also coaches our team. I've included his two page book summary because I know you're crazy busy. So I wanna make sure you can get the key concepts right out of the gate. It, Cause it's a big ask, right? A real estate professional, she's gonna read you know, Renee's book or my book or it may be, but if you can spoon feed them the book summary provide that value. And then at the end, not go for the ask of, you know, I, I'm going to reach out for you to, you know, potentially have coffee or lunch, but just simply say, let me know if I can serve you, your family, your team, or your clients in any way. And he did the same thing with seven uh, levels of communication. I had them in, I had him include his own book summary on that. He probably sent that six months ago. So it's value, value, service, education. And you can see this theme so Chantry, you want to add anything to that? And we can go back to the book here in a couple minutes, but I wanted to make sure to point that out. No, absolutely. And it's just an excuse to, to reach out with something that you're providing something. You're, you really, truly are trying to help their business. And it's not about you being their mortgage guy. Uh, it's about you just seriously thinking that this, I can see where somebody could be right now in this market. And I think this is a really great opportunity. I hope that I can see that, help them see it that way. And I think providing the book and the summary and all that, they can see that that's really our goal. Our goal is to, by knowing us, hopefully you feel like you're a better person or that we've tried to make you a better person by knowing us or have better energy or whatever the, the thing may be. All right. So mortgage coach community, this is the mastermind group, guys. Whether you're watching this in our Facebook group, you're watching this on YouTube, if, there, if you're doing anything to outvalue your competition, let us know down below the things I hear the most. Because I'm Mr. Mortgage Coach are things like creative finance strategies, uh, seller buy down, uh, creating clarity with the total cost analysis, uh, making sure that your database has things like a sales boomerang where you're getting alerts and, and you're able to not lose any transactions. But, but you know, and, and I, I, in this interview, what's been shining a light on is not just giving someone a book and knowledge, but making sure you're netting it out for them and you're making sure that you're bringing them the most valuable insight, the most valuable chapter, maybe the most valuable quotes uh, in those. I know part of the engagement you know, I have with Jonathan, and I, I don't know exactly how often I get them, but it seems like it's a couple times a week, I, I get a text and you know it's a five- rarely more than 10 minute video, but then, you know, he's given me the headline. He's given me three to five of the biggest takeaways in that. So, you know, a five minute video is not a big ask, but Hey guys, in today's market, when you can give value, great headline, great takeaways, book summary notes, uh, any, anything else you're doing with Jonathan's book, Chantry, anything else? Yeah, I think some people's negative voice would be saying, well, I'm not coached by Jonathan, so it's not going to be nearly as powerful because it's going to be really powerful, in my opinion, to go to my partners and say, I invest time every week and money to be coached by this guy. He's so awesome. He wrote this book and I cannot wait to share it with you. But they could simply shift their conversation one click and say, here's a peak performance coach that I've been following for months and maybe even however long you've been contributing to the mortgage coach community, Jonathan, here's a peak performance coach I've been following for the last year. I love what he has to say. I think his message is incredibly timing. I soak up everything that he does. I've got his book. And I think you're able to share your book summary as long as they do like a bulk purchase, right? Correct. So it doesn't change anything, right? They could have the same message that I'm having. And I think you know, I follow this guy. Here's his own personal book summary. He's incredible. I love what he has to say. I read this book and I just thought that it might have a really awesome impact on you. I know life is busy. Here's his personal summary. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. So don't, 
don't think that just because you're not being coached by him, you can't have that same value. Yeah, no, you're totally right. And I, I'm just thinking about Jonathan, I know you've been writing this book for a long time, but to think in this market, guys, when you think of the 12 habits, nail your voice chase, voice choice, focus on your energy, control your stress. Like uh, it was like written for this market, have an attitude of gratitude, upgrade your team, embrace being a leader, embrace being your own effort-based head coach, exercise and random acts of, of kindness, wait, random acts of fitness. Uh, anyways, tons of value. It really was written for this marketplace, plan your success. I could go on. Those are, I think, I think I did about 11 of the 12 habits. John, Jonathan, as we get ready to wrap up our conversation, is there anything that's left out? Just, you know, you've got two of your customers on here. You've, you're talking to a bigger group of the mortgage coach community on how to outvalue our competition. Anything else you want to make get, we get in this, this conversation? Yeah, I would just say within the 12 key habits to thrive, if you can picture, you send the book out, you send out the book summary, this incredibly busy and potentially stressed out real estate professional is at her desk, you know, eating a sandwich really quickly because she's got to jump on a call in 10 minutes and you're not asking her to flip through a 154 page book. You've just spoon fed her to the gold and she just flips through that while she's eating the sandwich and you potentially could alter how she's going to show up the rest of the day. Most importantly, that evening at home with her positive voice at the podium instead of her negative voice and these little mind shifts that are in the book summary around, you know, the, the realization, as you alluded to, Dave, that, you know, gratitude is key and that we want to manage stress. Remember, for the audience, gratitude and stress are inversely related. If we crank up gratitude, we decrease stress. A lot of people think that, you know, they have to deal with a certain level of stress. That's true, but a certain level not being completely stressed out. So if you can equip that real estate professional, team member, family with a actionable plan to start winning mentally that then proceeds, remember our voice choice leads to our thought patterns. We either focus on what's right or what's wrong. And then that then dictates our actions. So you could potentially have a profound impact on how that real estate professional partner executes business-wise, but more importantly, personally, and that is profound. And I'll just mention, Chantry mentioned about uh, the bulk orders. Anyone who invests in 100 copies of the book, I send them the two-page book summary. All they need to do is forward me the email. Any of you do that, just link out to, uh, reach out to me through LinkedIn. I also send you the letter that you would include, that the Chantry kind of role-played through. I include that. So it's it's kind of a no brainer on using this to, you know, continue to outvalue your competitors. And then I would just push the mortgage coach community and Dave and Chantry, you guys both know this, but right now is one of these big leadership moments in our lives. You could say March of 20 was the last big one, maybe the biggest ever. Well, we're in another one right now where people are thirsty for leadership. We're being studied as leaders and calm waters were observed in stormy waters. We are studied. You are being studied every move. You can call it creepy. You can call it whatever you want. You guys know I coach five of the top 30 originators in the country. I get what's going on. I get the complexities. But again, if you want to outvalue your competitors and be different, elevate your energy, elevate your vibe, elevate your positivity, nail the voice choice and lead. Someone's got to lead. Like in, in a storm, someone's got to grab the wheel. No different than the athletes, the pro athletes I'm blessed to coach. Right. Sometimes things are getting knocked around and someone's got to step up. And this is one of these moments where the non A players are slowly backing up. And I'm going to call some of you out on it right now. Excuse my candor. It's time to, you know, man up or woman up and step up. Stop receding. At some point we got to go. Someone's got to lead this thing. And that comes with your voice choice, your energy, your vibe, your positivity, your hope. Because again, if you're prepared, Prepared, you're licking your chops right now. If you're not, you're whining and complaining about the industry. Excuse my candor, but kind of not. It's and we we uh, we haven't even segued into this a little bit. But what about a recruiting opportunity for other loan officers? If you're in a role where you're a a manager, you're trying to recruit other loan officers. You know that most of them aren't in a an environment that's thriving. 
And if we are, what a recruiting tool, this book is a starting point. Yeah, guys, I focus in this community on recruiting realtors uh, and, and, and consumers. And all I know is everybody is having a certain level of stress in this market. It, you know, every home buyer, when they hear what rates are today, they're either surprised or they're disappointed. There are no happy thoughts when a family hears what rates are. And I know that realtors, regardless of how successful they are, uh, they're having at least double the amount of conversations around um, price reductions. They hadn't even had to talk about price reductions for over two years. And now that is either a concern or a conversation they're having. And so we need to be creative. We need to get after it. And I can't think of a, a better um, outvalue your competition than one investing in Jonathan's book, yourself, reading the book and getting it for um, realtors that you can serve and people that you can serve. Uh, anything, you know, I'll give each of you a last chance to give any parting comments before we wrap it up. Shantry, any closing comments you have for anybody in the mortgage coach community? Just as far as just on the book, just do it. It's the easiest thing ever. He's going to give everything done for you. If, if you had a hundred books, if I took any loan officer in my branch and I said, here's, you just invested in a hundred books. I would dare say that I would, I would bet them any amount of money that they were 10 or 20 fold that return in income in the long run. And it's just such an easy excuse to reach out to people. We're always looking for a way that we're not bugging them so to speak we're truly coming with a done for you piece of value for a very small investment love it jonathan any closing thoughts yeah i would just invite everyone watching right now to realize that if you're layering the right tools and strategies and approaches on top of mediocre or low energy then your business is suffering and your personal life is probably suffering it's kind of like a, a hungover athlete wanting to try to figure out the playbook. And we need to first get the athlete's body operating correctly, mindset operating correctly. So they bring that positivity and energy and vibe, then they can work on the playbook. So for all the mortgage professionals, you want to get in your own best state, which is, you know, your negative voice ironically is the one talking you out of your self-care trying to say, no, no, you just got to push through this. But at some point, we need to decide, all right, you know what? I think we need to pull the vehicle over here and get it right, get the right tires on this thing so we can crank it. The reason that all of your mortgage professionals is because it is an absolutely incredible industry. You serve families getting into their dream home or their dream financial situation. And you get lost on that when you freaky stress. So the only path back to that is self-care, including your voice choice, including gratitude, including decreasing stress, the other keys in the book, it's there for the taking. This doesn't need to be a part-time job, but we need to allocate some amount of time each week to that. And most importantly, I'll finish off by saying, remember the family, our families deserve our A game. Don't get fooled by your negative voice that they get stuck with your B game because dad's stressed or mom's stressed. You're better than that. And I'm calling you out as your peak performance coach on that. Don't do that. You're better than that but we've got to change some things, not huge changes, we're going to make some tweaks. And most importantly, that voice choice, who's at the podium? Because there's all the excuses in the world right now for things go wrong and challenges, but someone's thriving in this market. A lot of my clients are, including the two of you. It's not a coincidence, but it starts here. Right on guys. Well, hey, I, awesome. appreciate, I appreciate both of you. And uh, guys, I highly recommend get this book read it, get cases of this book, get a hundred so that you have Jonathan helping you um, give it away in the most valuable way possible. This is a market to outvalue your competition. Uh, this call is a wrap. If you got value from it, give us a like down below, share it with your mortgage friends. Uh, Shantry and Jonathan, thank you very much, gentlemen. Great call, everybody. Take care. Make sure Thanks, you guys. Uh, have your friends sign up for the Mortgage Coach YouTube channel.